Hello there everybody, Dmod Gmod here, and welcome back for another chapter of Fire Emblem, The Binding Blade. In the last part, we broke our way into Castle Ostia and managed to save Alina and end the rebellion. And on this chapter, we're taking on something that you may not have expected, which I'm going to talk about when we get into it. But, here it is, our first legendary weapon chapter. Chapter 8X, The Blazing Sword. Let's get into it. Also, I love this music. <laughs> I don't know why. It's something like super crazy or special, but I love it. Roy vowed to protect Lena forever. However, with Burn coming full force of them, Roy's army wouldn't stand a chance. Therefore, they decided to try and take the divine weapons before Burn got their hands on them. Lena showed them to a cave in the outskirts of Ostia, where the first divine weapon was hidden. The cave, located at the foot of a volcano, was going to be a major ordeal for Roy. Well, you heard him. Here we are! And question for you as people who have kept up with the story of Fire Emblem 7 and 6. Does this map look familiar to you? Well, you're not crazy. You know why? Because this area is the exact same area as you visit in Fire Emblem 7. I won't say what area it is quite yet, but you do visit this area also in Fire Emblem 7 in case it looks very familiar to you. Anyways though, um... This chapter, talking about the enemies themselves, all the enemies here are very, very weak. In fact, I call this chapter the free experience chapter, so if you have any units you want to train, or anything of the such, this is the place to do it because, my god, are the enemies weak here. Seriously, they're pretty pathetic. In fact, let me see. Yeah, I, I literally the only two threats of my thing that are different from what you're used to is this guy here, Henning here, he's a hero, so he can be kind of scary. He is really strong for the time you see him. It's kind of like the general thing, except the general had a crap ton of defense, and in this case, it's not stupid. And also, the other thing you should look out for is this guy, who carries a halberd, which I guarantee you will one-shot any horse riding unit in, that you have on your army. Yes, including Marcus and Zila. They will not survive a hit from this halberd. Be careful. Now, for my team here for this chapter, I'm bringing Roy, Alan, Lance, Dick, Rutger, Lug, Clara, and Sue, Ellen, Lolina. However, I'm actually thinking about swapping out one of these guys for some of my other characters, because I would like my other characters to get some more XP, because, for example, Wolf's only level 6, I like him to catch up. Uh, Trek could also use some levels. Uh, Noah's another character I like using a lot, and he could also go for some levels. So I am thinking I'm going to swap some people out, but I just don't know who quite yet. Because Sue, I want her getting the level. She needs level ups to keep up with everybody else. So, I'm going to keep using Sue. Lelina needs a level up. In fact, I want to say this is probably the best chapter in a while to level her up. Because you can make walls because of how linear this map is. And Lelina can hide behind said walls and just get all the XP from the uh, leftover kills. Uh, I'm going to bring Ellen in case we do need healing. Actually, I don't need two healers for this chapter. I don't need two healers. One healer is more than enough. So, who am I going to pick to bring? Trek. I'm debating if I want to bring Wolt, Trek, or Noah. Um. I think I'm going to bring. Oh, geez, this is a tough one. See, here's the thing. I like Wolt personally, and I was planning on using him from the get-go. However, Sue, as you can see, has already caught up and surpassed him in character, like in level and in stats. You know what? No, I'm gonna stick to my guns. I'm gonna bring Wolt. It's probably a dumb move, and people are probably gonna say, "Oh, Zachary, you're so dumb for using Wolt." And yes, I probably am. But you know what? I believe in this green-haired guy. I believe in him, and that's all I need to bring him to the battlefield. Yeah, you can see why I'm not the greatest tactician. <laughs> Also, while we're here, I'm going to... Oh yeah, we can buy stuff here. Uh, we don't really... I wasn't looking to buy stuff, however. What I'm looking for is... To take this red orb that we have here and sell it here. Not buy, sell. Free doesn't go for the free. Awesome. There we go. Alright, that being said... Let's get into the chapter. I'm just gonna save my game quickly. And here we go. Chapter 8X, The Blazing Sword. Oh, I love this music. Hey, b -b -b boss, an army's invading our cave. What? How many of them are there? Don't know, boss. I hope there aren't too many of them. 
That's strange. The like serious Marco shouldn't be having bigger problems than dealing with bandits like us. Well, what do we do? They probably don't know much about this cave anyway. Just lure them into the stepping on the floor tiles with hot lava spurts out and get rid of them. And, oh, the song that's playing. God, I love this song. We'll get to listen to it more throughout the chapter. The song's called Scars of the Scouring, and I love it so much. Roy, over here! The divine weapon is located on the other side of this lava pit. Lena, are you alright? Have you calmed down? Well, maybe I'm not fully alright, but now it's the time to be sad. I need to protect Ostia, like my father before me. Alright, good for you, Lena. I'm okay because you're with me, Roy. What? Did you say something? Uh, no, nothing. Anyways, I'll tell you what I know about this divine weapon. The one here is the sword that was used by Roland, one of the eight heroes. That Roland. Is that King Roland, the first knight of Ostia? Right, he's our ancestor. This sword is called the Blazing Sword, or the Durandal. The Durandal. The name has a strange echo to it. So Roland used the Durandal to fight the dragons during the scouring. That's how the legend goes. They also said, eh, they also say that after the war ended, Roland returned to his hometown of Ostia. He raised Durandal high above his head, and the land that had, that had become barren after the war suddenly became lush with vegetation and life again. Wow, that must be some sword. Well, it is a weapon that can defeat dragons. It must have some special powers in it. Yes. Oh yeah, I heard that a group of bandits have made its base here. Is it going to be alright? Is what going to be alright? I mean, there's always a chance that they might have taken the Durandal. Oh no, don't worry. Only those who are Roland's successors know how to remove the Durandal from its sheath. Oh, okay, then everything's fine. All we do is get rid of the bandits and detain the Durandal. Yes, people, it's the same Durandal from Fire Emblem 7. See the relationship between 6 and 7? They're appearing pretty quickly, aren't they? <laughs> Anyways here, let's get this started. How I like to play this chapter is normally I'd like to send one or two sword fighters up here uh, to take out these guys and the archer and then I have the rest of the everyone else focused down here because this first lane is basically in my opinion the top priority. So I'm going to bring uh, Fro Dick there. I'll put Alan here. I'm going to have him equip the javelin so he can make sure he can counter attack anything that comes at him. And oh, we have a support conversation between Alan and Lance. That was quickly. Okay. Before I do that, though, let me see here. Uh, if I put you there, it should be fine. Once again, equip the javelin. And let's do a support conversation. Was not expecting this. <laughs> Alan, the battles will only get tougher from now on. Yes, but it's just what I want. Alan, I need to tell you something. It's about when we lose. When we lose? Right. If it looks like defeat would be certain, you must take Master Run and retreat. I like this a decoy for the enemy and buy time for you. What? But then you'd be in danger. Someone has to do it. Then it might as well be me, who has been inferior to shortest. That'd be ridiculous. Alan? If you're staying, then I will as well. I won't allow you to go off alone and commit suicide. But you're one of the long line of knights serving the fairy family. So you should take Master Roy and flee. How long have you served means nothing. Then let me ask you this. How's your loyalty be less than the other knights? Can't say for yourself? Then I'll answer you. You're working just as hard as anybody. You've been as loyal as any of the other knights. I know that best, because I've been your partner ever since you came to Fairy. Don't do anything stupid, Lance. You're a necessary person to both us and Master Roy. I like, I like it. Nice charm conversation. Nice reassurance being built between the two. I like it. Now, uh, let's see here. Uh, right, I gotta move somebody here. Uh, I know Roy can take on these guys up here on his own, so I'm gonna have Roy just equip the Iron Blade, and I'll have him wait here. Okay, um... I know only I can take one hit from this guy, I'm not worried about one hit. You know what, actually, I think I'm just gonna wait here. I'm gonna have you go forward. Uh, Ellen, I'm gonna have you go here. And I promise not to be- I, I promise not to like, s play super slow for the entire chapter. It's just for this first little bit here, until this uh, row at the bottom left here is taken care of. I would like to play patiently. And I believe- yeah, Roy will double- Roy does not double with an Iron Blade. Okay, against a Steel Weapon. Roy, you have speed problems. And, oh jeez. Ow. Luckily that HP stat of first is gonna get fixed up really quickly, but for now she's frail as a- Okay, she's always frail, but like, right now, she's like, super frail. Nice dodge. And you better double with this. Okay, thank you, Dick. See, Roy, be more like Dick. Learn how to fight. With an iron blade. <laughs> so 
The last thing I can give you that still has good damage output. Except the rapier, maybe. And you're also gonna come, okay. Ow. Okay. Now, do not be afraid of that Myrmidon. If that Myrmidon had a killing edge or something, I would say be afraid of him. But he's an idiot and he equipped it with a steel sword. Yeah, he's slowing himself. Let's see. Waste 10, he's slowing himself down by 2 points. That speed is actually 9, so he's actually not even that fast. What I do worry about, though, is this Halberd guy. He's coming up quick, which means I can't really send out my horsefighters to fight, or else I'm going to get annihilated by him. So I'm going to move you back. Uh, hit you with the fire magic. This should be a level up. Awesome, which means that definitely is a level up, because she was already at, like, 90 XP when I did that. Okay, Lena hits level 4. Give me a good level up. Come on. <laughs> Bad level. Okay. Let me just... I'm just gonna try and move my team in close enough so we don't trigger, like, get in the range of the Halberd guy. But we can still do something, because it's the Halberd I'm scared of, not nothing else here. Okay, uh... Uh, Wolt, you can take up this guy. See, Wolt can double you! Why can't Roy double you? Jeez. Wow, Roy, you're slow. You're a slug. Hey, bad level up. Ugh, if we can stop with these bad level ups, I'd greatly appreciate it. So you can double with these two, but... Let me see here. That weighs 12. You have a constitution of 6. Wow, so your speed's free when using the Iron Blade. That's kinda bad! Holy crap, Roy, you're slow. Actually, no, you're not really that slow, it's just that your constitution is garbage. Whatever, get a level up. If we can get some speed points, that'd be nice. No, we get a Roy level up, as I call it. Basically being everything that's not what you want. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Rutger, you know what? I don't really have a better uh, use for you. You can just go up here. Okay. And once again, I gotta worry about the halberd, but besides that, we're in the clear. We're getting moved there. You know what? I don't really think we're gonna be needing all these forces to take them on, so I think I'm just gonna leave this group here, and it should be fine. The two magicians, Alan, Lance, and Sue, should be able to take out the rest of these guys here. Without much problem. Nice. I didn't realize we one-shot the Mermidon, but hey, we do. <laughs> Alan gets another level up. What level are you now, Alan? Level 11. It, uh, at least we hit 30 HP? I don't know. <laughs> nice dodge, Alan. I figured Alan would dodge. She's really evasive at this point. Which is great. I'm like Roy here, who's not evasive. Getting hit by 40 freeze. Hooray. <laughs> okay. Nice dodge. Now we just let's just take out the um uh what do you call black? Take out the halberd, and then these other guys are easy because we all, we already know how axe fighters go. They came, they saw, they get hit by a sword. They're dead. Also, I decided to give Sue the killer bow because she got during that time I was training her last episode, uh, or two episodes ago actually. It turns out she actually was able to get that weapon rank up enough so that she could actually just go ahead and go nuts with the killer bow, which is awesome. There's one. There's two. I don't want to use the killer bow quite yet, though. It's kind of a rare weapon, so I would like to spare it a bit. Also, I like it so that Lelina can get the kill. Because, again, I'm get This chapter is- Ooh, nice crit! This chapter is mainly, hey, Lelina just joined you. Have some free XP for her. Okay, she'll catch up really quick if you want her to. Anyways, Halberd's down, meaning that the rest of this is nice and easy. So, Iron Sword, here you go. Okay, now the bottom is cleared up, now we can actually get going somewhere. <laughs> okay. We'll just send Lance over here to knock him out, and then we'll be on a merry way. Uh, sword, please. Oh, we don't kill him. Huh. Methinks Lance could use a little bit more strength, apparently. Oh, well, look. Can't win them all. Oh, I'm in your range. Oh, actually, that's kind of bad. Yeah, let me do this. What's your range? Your range is there. Okay. So let me just do this. And oh, I can't take. How heavy? Okay. What's your con? Four. What's Lena's con? Four. 
frick. <laughs> Darn. Oh well. Okay, uh. Roy, you can take out the Zack Spider. Roy also needs some XP. He's falling a little bit behind, and considering the fact that Roy is already kind of mad at the moment, I would like him to get stronger so he can hold himself up a little bit better. I probably shouldn't get the kill to Rutger if I'm being 100% honest with myself. What's your range? Your range is there. What do you have? You have a good old Iron Axe and Hand Axe combo. Okay. I do have a healer right behind me, so it should be fine. Barely missing the kill as well. Darn. Ow. Okay then. Uh, you know what, Rutger? Fine, just kill him. Not much XP though, unfortunately. Okay, well that being said, I guess I have some healing to do, huh? There we go. Maybe I can just have Lug in there and- No, okay. Well, I guess I'll just have Lug go this way then. Oh, shoot! Uh, we should be fine. No? Okay, let's get hit by 38s. This game has just been giving me the middle finger over and over again recently. Like, jeez. I guess while this is going on, I play out this turn. I guess I can explain um, uh, what this chapter is. This chapter is a legendary weapons chapter, and a legendary weapons chapter is, well, you're playing the chapter to try and attain a legendary weapon for it. And each of these chapters, if you want the best endings of the game, you need to play all these chapters and have all the weapons. Because believe it or not, this game does indeed have multiple endings, which is really cool. But if you want to get all the multiple endings, you're going to need to get all the legendary weapons. And I'll, I'll let you guys know in the future when uh, a legendary weapon chapter is coming up, because to unlock it, you have to complete a certain requirement in the chapter prior to it, meaning that you're going to have to, well, try your best to meet said requirement. And luckily, to unlock this one, all you have to do is keep Lilina alive and complete chapter 8. Which, obviously, I was going to do because I love Lilina a little too much for me not to do that. So, yeah, this is our first weapon chapter, and if I remember, there are seven total in the game, so... Hopefully you like them, because there's gonna be a little, uh, a few of them, to say the least. But yeah, and believe it or not, uh, for those who are like, okay, not believe it or not, but for those who are uninformed or just haven't played Fire Emblem 7, uh, Durandal is the weapon we're after today, and Durandal is the weapon that was used by the hero Roland, as they were talking about earlier, but also the weapon that Eliwood took into battle against Nurgle in Fire Emblem 7. I did warn people to play Fire Emblem 7 before they watch this LP, so if you... I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that everybody who's watching this took that warning and learned and listened so I don't spoil things, because... I am going to talk about connections, because this is a direct sequel from the game. It's not a whole new story, it's a co it's a continuation of said story, so remember that. Uh, can we knock this guy out? We can, but I get killed if I miss. Eh, it's 92, you know what, sometimes you have to believe. Thank you, game. There we go, got another kill for Lena. She's going to catch up so quickly, I promise you. Level 5, HP, magic, speed, luck, good level up, very good. Okay, uh, let's heal up Lelina. She kind of needs it at the moment. The two characters I really want to prioritize getting level ups. Okay, not the two, but like I want to get Roy level ups, Volt level ups, Sue level ups, and Lelina. Everybody else in my opinion on the party is fine at the moment. It's just those ones in particular are the ones I really want to get level ups for. Also, for those who are struggling to level up some sword characters for whatever reason, do not worry. In the very near future, you're going to have a great opportunity to get your sword characters leveled up. So do not worry. Uh, I guess we'll have to turn. Yeah, it's, I think it's fine. Also, I probably should have explained this, even though uh, I failed at it because I'm not a very good um, uh, let's play, if you couldn't tell. Uh, these tiles down here on the uh, floor, these are lava crack tiles. And every turn at the end of the enemy phase, these things will sprout lava. And if your unit is on them, or any unit's on them, they will take some damage for it. And... Yes, these lava spots can kill you. Be careful about it. 
Thankfully, though, uh, it's not that much damage if you, unfortunately, end up on one. Just keep in mind that they do do damage, and they do have the potential to kill you. It's not like they just leave you 1 HP or anything. No, they can and will kill you if you do something stupid on them, so be careful. All I can really say. But not, they're not that deadly of a gimmick, so don't worry about it. It's not like they're completely overwhelming or anything, or, oh no, I screwed up one turn, I'm going to lose a unit. And, what the heck? What is with all the support conversations? Alan has another one with Roy now. Jeez. I knew Lance had fast supports, but like, wow. Okay. Well, we got support conversation to do next turn, I guess. Also, I know that archer's coming at us, but honestly, it's just the archer. I'm not worried. Because we don't have any flyers on our team. I cry every time I think of that. <laughs> Anyways, uh... That's an easy kill, but you're gonna be coming at... Oh! I guess what I could do is I could just attack with the longbow. Or I could stop being a coward and actually move forward. <laughs> uh, maybe we can get a critical hit, you never know. No, okay. I tried. He has a 1% crit too, but honestly, even if he got a crit, it wouldn't really even do anything to me. I know, critical hit's not one-shotting something. It's crazy to think about, isn't it? Uh, I kind of want to give somebody else the kill. You know what? Uh, Sue, do it! Hit him! Hit him! Hit! Yeah! Longbow actually doing something. What do you know? And a level. Awesome. Okay, Sue, here we are. Can we get some strength, please? No, but we got some good other level ups. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, Alan, you know what? I know you can take a hit, so I'm going to leave you on the towel and not have to worry too much. Uh, since we got a support conversation, I guess I'll move Lance up like so. Uh, let me just make sure I have a good item equipped. Uh, yeah, Javelin will do it. Alright, another support conversation. Wow. Master Roy, are you alright? Lance, what's the matter? I couldn't see you, so... Oh. Is that all? No, that is not all, Master Roy. You're the army's leader. You must watch for your safety more. Safety more. Yeah, you're right. I'll be more careful. Are you sure? I promise. Loyal Knights, alright, I, I, I can get with it. <laughs> Not much to say about the C supports. Most of the time, the C supports are just like building up to what the actual supports, in my opinion. But, like, hey, they gotta start somewhere, right? Uh, more healing XP! Yes! We will get that Physic Staff unlocked. We will get that C rank soon. Oh! No, we need B rank. Right, right, right. We need B rank for uh, Physic, not C rank. Do we? I was like, wait a minute, I tried giving her the Physic Staff earlier and I couldn't. What the heck? And you choose to fight Dick of all people. Interesting, I see one round KOs you, as you're gonna- Oh, he doesn't. Okay, guess it makes sense then. Whatever, another free kill for Lilina. Hooray! It's a joyous day. Should double- No? Okay. Oh, hello! Oh, geez, steel bow. That's- Yeah, that's gonna hurt. We might double him, though, because of the steel bow. Yeah, we do! Yeah, Lilina's getting those speed level ups. Awesome! She really needs healing, though. Let's 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 make sure she doesn't die all of a sudden. Okay. Luckily, Ellen's right there, so I don't have to worry about it. Ow! I figured I knew I like as you can see, it's only like free damage, so it's not it's not that big of a deal, but it's still something to look out for. Okay. Uh, lug. I'm gonna have you take out this guy. Normally, I like feeding kills to the characters I was just talking about, but in some cases, I do think it's worth getting a kill with somebody else. Oh, Lug got level up from that. Okay, definitely worth it then. Lug is level 13. Yes, get that magic stat. Please, Lug. Please, please, please. Magic speed. That's all I really ask from you. Uh... You know what? It's pretty likely he'll die. It's okay. I'll just go for it. There's one. There's two. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Get those. Okay, and then you can get a mending staff. Oh, I love that one. Okay. And then we. Oh, we don't W, do we? We can hit you really hard, but no, we do not W. And there's. Oh, there's no enemies in the distance. Okay, then we can just do this. Alright, Roy, have fun! In fact, since he's using a hand axe, I probably could use an iron blade. I may uh, actually no, I probably still wouldn't have doubled him. Let me see. Actually, I'm curious. Hand axe weighs 12. As you can see, it weighs a crap ton in this game. His speed would be four. 
Yeah, we wouldn't double him, though. He wouldn't double us. So that's kind of cool. Perfect. That means Lena can go in and get the kill. Awesome. I officially did this episode the Lena Grind Fest because she's almost gotten another level. I think it's going to be a third level so far this chapter. No, this would be... Yeah, this would be a third because she went from level four... No, that'd be a second. I can't count. <laughs> I can't math. Shush. Okay, uh, what can we use to aggro this guy? Uh, we can use Lance. There we go. I don't have an elixir. I don't even need these elixirs yet. A little bit of an overkill of a healing item at the moment. And, oh, hello. 4% hit. Why would you even bother? Well, I'm glad you did because, I, again, another kill for Lilina. Awesome. Okay, let me see. Okay, I think we W? No, unfortunately not. Okay, let me see here. Um, that knocks you out. I don't think I can do it. Oh, I can use Volt. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna bolt chip him down with the iron bow, which will put him in KO range for Lulina. Awesome. Oh, we got hit. That wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> okay. Then Lulina can go here, and we can just finish him off with the Thundertone. Awesome. There we go. Awesome. Another level up. Also, I just said awesome like four times in like a minute. Help me. <laughs> Let's see. Level six. Magic and speed. Perfect. Those are the two stats. Those two stats in evasion are what I really care about on a mage. Those are the good, good, good. Those are the really good stats to get. Nine, eleven. Okay, so Lance is like a little bit lagging behind. So let's get him up here. Uh, Ellen, if you can get up here too, that'd be nice. Okay, Rutger. Uh, you. Are, oh, I should probably heal Valen soon. Okay. Oh, he went to the lava spot like an idiot. Awesome. That means... Actually, no, we're going to kill him anyways. Oh! Okay, yeah, we're definitely killing him with a crit. Huh, 10 crit with an iron sword. Not every day you see that on a character that's not a Myrmidon or a sword master. <laughs> level 10, strength, skill, speed. There we go. Very good level up. Everything you want. Holy fire effects. <laughs> Okay, let's see, and then you will come in if I put someone... You know what, I think I'm being a little too cautious. I think it's time we move in a bit. We have, you have a Steel Axe. Hey, it'll be fine. There we go. Again, that 1% critical never feels good to see that because you know you always know that that one stupid little chance you'll get hit by that stupid crit and die for it oh before i move you forward ellen uh come and do your uh, magical healing stuff awesome okay let's see here alan you can yeah you should do this just fine go ahead The dodge, but honestly, we, we kind of were just expecting it. And now what's left is this sword fighting guy. And ooh, weapon level increase. What level is that? Actually, I think just now you're hitting a D rank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have not been using swords in this guy, like, at all. Which is funny, because you think... Okay, what's well, kind of ironic. If you want to look at Lance here. He has a sword... Oh, he also has a sword rank of E. Okay, I haven't been using swords on either of them, apparently. Wow. I should probably try and fix that. Ah, heck, you know what? Go long, Vo. You're not going to use one for much, so may as well try to hit you. And it worked. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Lena, you can go for it. Roy, here you go. I should probably get lugged in the front lines, honestly. And oh, hey, it's Nitty. He's just healing. I mean, you're gonna die anyways. I mean, look at all the people coming at you. I would have gone out. I would have gone with a fight, but whatever. Your choice. Let's see. You have 16 HP. We might be able to do that with an fire. Just barely off the KO. Oh, that sucks. We're we gonna level up from this at least. Probably not. Okay. Let's see if we can chip him down then.
Yeah, we don't need to get doubled. Okay. Iron Blade was a mistake on Roy. Let's not do this again. Okay. Which means now we can go in with Lelina and finish him off. Perfect. Power of Lelina and Roy teamwork. Dang it. It's actually really good too because I'm uh... Roy with since... Oh, Fire Magic broke. Oh, well. It's kind of helpful too because these two build support super quickly. So having us uh, te having them team up like this to knock out enemies is actually really good. Not only for the support, but also the support bonus that we get on both of them. Because let me see here. Uh, from Lelina, you get let's see. I do not know what Light Affinity does actually. All I know is that with uh, Lelina, when Roy's near Lelina, she gets an attack bonus, which is really good. It's only one stinking mage. You'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> Let's try and get the rest of our team catching up. I'm kind of falling behind a little bit. We don't need these amazing run on Volt. He, he would probably get almost full HP just from a regular heal staff anyways. There we go. Okay. You know what? I'm going to let the other units take a little bit of a shot at this. Because like I said, this chapter is... Are you kidding me? Another support. What the frick? Hmm. Master Roy, something wrong? Master Roy? Oh, uh, Alan. Uh, sorry, I've lost all my thoughts. All alone. You seem to be thinking a lot these days, Master Roy. Maybe so. What are you worrying over? I was just thinking how to move our troops. How to move our, the troops? Yes. The enemy is growing stronger all the time. I'm not in this chapter, I promise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so good methods quickly become obsolete. I was wondering how to effectively break through the defensive lines. Uh, send Roy. Uh, no, not to send Roy, I uh, send Marcus. That's easy, Master Roy, leave it to me. I shall have the defense shattered in no time. Thanks. But I don't want you to put anyone in, uh, uh, no offense, dude, but Alan can take on everyone here except for maybe the boss. There has to be a better way. I'll think some more. Trust me, Roy, you're overthinking it. Uh, you don't under you heavily underestimate your troops, apparently, because I guarantee you Alan could fight most of these enemies just fine. In fact, honestly, unless they like four and one against him, I don't see any way they would lose. I mean, he would lose. Seriously, how many supports does Roy have now? Yeah, he's got four of them going. That's pretty freaking good. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm not gonna be able to reach those guys. Okay, yes. So we can start hitting you with the sword. That's good. Hit, begin with the bashing of things. Okay, there we go. That's one bandit down. Let's take out the other, and then see if we can take out the, uh, the mage user. Uh, the mage user? <laughs> yes, he uses mages, and his name is Magic. Okay. <laughs> wow, I'm, I, I, I am, I am such a grammar. Do you believe that? Okay. Do you believe that English is my native language? Yeah, I don't either. Don't worry. Anyways, no crit, and you're doing four damage with an L fire tome. I know Lilina has got some good resistance, but like, wow. Okay then, uh, I guess we can just knock you out like this then. Good. Oh shoot, I just realized this Axe Fighter is just gonna come through and hit Lelina or Sue. Okay. Not really worried about Sue, because I know Sue could just dodge. Here's the plan. We'll move you here, and we'll move you here, and I'll drink a Bonary because I want to make sure that we protect her. There we go, now Lena's safe. Hooray! And Sue, honestly... Actually, let me see here. Your defense is 6. Your attack is 18. Okay, so she's guaranteed to live no matter what, which is good. Uh, and then you're also probably going to attack Alan, but we have a sword equipped, so I don't really care. Okay. So we're almost at the boss now. Also, sorry my commentary's been kind of, like, bland right now. I just... This chapter's kind of... Like, it's cool looking, and the music's great and everything, but, like, it's not a hard chapter. It really isn't. The only part I'd even call relatively difficult would be the boss. And honestly, the boss, if you think about it, it's actually not that bad. Or if you have the certain- or if you have the right characters to help with it. Okay, uh, first things first. This, uh, Axe Fighter. Yeah, there's no way to attack from a range, but honestly, I should probably get our two troops to move forward, so I'm gonna move Rucker here. Uh, Ellen, if you want to give, uh, that nice men boost. 
Perfect. So good how she can heal at full. Then again, that's what just what men's staffs are good for. Anyways, uh... Can Dick take on all these people? She let me look here. Oh, shoot! You have a killing edge. Okay, uh... Let's make sure that... Oh, 28 chance of us being instantly killed. That's my favorite. Oh, jeez. I love it when there's instant kills. Okay, good crit, Roy. That's actually a good thing. Normally, I would be like, oh, I wanted to like have someone else kill him. But honestly, in this situation, we need to make sure this mercenary is dead. Because, uh, yeah, 20% chance of instant kill. That's not good. Okay, uh, we may be putting someone at risk here to do this, but honestly, I think it's worth it. Okay, first of all, we need to apply some chip damage. That's unnecessary. So here you go. Have a javelin in your face. And frick! Oh god. I'm terrified. We may be losing somebody, folks. Oh, this is bad. I don't like this in the slightest. Maybe we could crit him before he crits us. Um, you know what, honestly? Worth a shot. Darn it. Whatever. We got the hit, though. That's all that matters. Okay. We got 13 HP. And we move in Allen. And that should... Keyword is should. That should be the end of it. Please do not miss. Yes, okay. Woo! That was scary, because that was just flat out instant death, if something screwed up there. Woo, okay, we survived, folks. That was scary, I could have lost Alan there. That did not, if that missed and he counterattacked and got that crit, that would have been Alan dead. Oh, hello. Ow. Oh, shoot, I just realized that Sue is going to be taking a lot of punishment here. Actually, no, the archer's an idiot. Okay, we're fine then. The archer is an idiot. Perfect. And the mage is an idiot too. Okay. I, re I realized that Sue is going to be taking some hits here, but apparently it's fine. Oh, Jesus! Oh, don't give me a heart attack like that game. Ugh. Jeez Louise, man. Have some mercy on my soul. Maybe we can get a crit here? Wow, you just don't want to crit people. Okay, fine. Be like that, Sue. Man. Okay, then, uh, Lilina can get a kill with the Fire Tome. Okay, another level up, awesome. That put her, I think that puts her level 7? Yeah. Speed, luck. Eh, at least it's speed, I guess. Okay. You there. I need you dead. I don't even care about the Fire Spot. Okay, now I sort of care. There we go. So you're done, and Lance can go over here. And why is there fire spots everywhere? Jeez. Whatever though, I guess. I know we got enough HP to take it, so I'm not worried. Okay, this guy's dead too. Now we've cleared up the way. And Ooh, okay, that's a D rank of swords. Cool. We cleared out the way now. All that's left is this room. We got this guy from Air Caliber, who could be scary, but honestly, I don't I don't feel like he's gonna be that big of a deal. Got two axe fighters, uh, nothing special on them. And then we got Henning, and Henning, he could be, he's probably gonna be difficult, but we'll figure out a way to deal with him when we get there. Anyways, uh, let's get to healing some people. Uh, you know what, honestly, for once I'm actually not gonna use the mending staff, I'm just gonna use the heal staff. There we go, almost level up. She's almost level 10, which is cool. That means she's gonna be able to promote if I want her to. Which, when it comes to healers, I actually do like promoting them kind of early, that way they can actually start fighting and getting their magic built up as soon as possible. So, that's good. But I don't think we have a- we, I don't even think we have a way to actually start using light tomes. Like, I don't even think there's a place where we can get light tomes at the moment. Can we not get hit by fire, please? I'd appreciate it. Nope. Ow. We're still fine, obviously, but... Also, ow. Okay. Let's get our team out of this hellhole. 
Ellen. You can use the mending staff on Sue. There we go. So now when it comes to taking on these guys, normally what I like doing, all you really have to do is send up a sword unit up there because Henning's not going to move from his throne because he doesn't like leaving his throne, I guess. He's either lazy or smart because he knows that cover is going to make him a lot difficult, more difficult of a character to defeat. I'm going to go with uh, lazy because I like that story better. <laughs> so what I basically have to really do is send a sword fighter who's capable of um, uh, actually doing some damage and you'll be fine. Like, all you have to do is kill the mage, essentially. That's your only goal when you enter that room. Kill the mage, the axe fighters will come at the sword fighter and they're going to miss because axes suck. I get swords, as usual. I'm thinking I'm going to set Roy, though. I think Roy could use the XP. And oh, Ellen's level 10. Cool. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to go up there and like... I think I'm just going to send Roy. I think Roy needs the XP the most. So that being said, uh, let's get our team moving forward. And if Roy happens to not kill any of them, then that just means we get somebody else to do some damage to them afterwards, which is good, because that means we get more XP spread around, which is awesome. I think you get my logic. I could send up Rek- Oh, right, I forgot. Rekker actually needs some healing. He's like Genji. I need healing! Healing! Alright. Dumb, uh, dumb overwalk jokes aside, let's keep moving forward. Okay, game. Yes, I know. Fire. Yay. Ah. Such scared. Okay. <laughs> What's your range? Your range is there. So, as you can see, Simulon's already in range. So, really, this ar he's just going to wait for somebody to approach him, which is the nice part about the ceiling with this guy. Uh, but while I'm doing this, because uh, we're going to be needing Wrecker for my boss strategy here, so we're definitely going to heal him up. There we go. Get a lot of nice XP on him. I mean, HP, not XP. And he already has 17 speed. Jeez, Rucker. Holy heck, you're fast. I could send up Sue. I think Sue would be able to do an okay job at this. But honestly, like I said, I'm just going to stick with my Roy plan for now. It'd be nice if I give Alina some of those kills too. Because like I said, this chapter is what I call Alina the training experience. The Alina training ex uh, simulator is basically what this chapter is to me. I'm just gonna fast forward this fire effect. It's getting really annoying. I'll just do that from now on. Okay. Here we go. Here's the plan. Send in Roy. Here we go. Uh, proceed not to double people. Uh, good, 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 good job, Roy. Whatever. Just going with the rapier. Never can get a crit. No. Okay. And this is actually gonna hurt. Ow. Actually, yeah. That puts me at kill range. Ooh, did not realize that. Whatever, we just need to knock him out with uh, Sue over here and it'll be fine. I uh, just go for the Iron Bow. Not really a reason not to. Here we go. Can we get a dodge, maybe? No, okay. Are you serious right now? No, game. Don't you dare do this to me right now. Speed defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really care. Don't you dare even try and screw with me like this. No, I'm not having any of it. You are going to die. I'm not replaying this chapter. It's not a hard chapter. It's honestly... I love the chapter for its game... Like, I love the chapter for its story. I love the chapter for its visuals. But challenging... Like, thinking-wise and challenging-wise, it is quite boring because of the fact it's basically a clean sweep except for, like, two enemies. There we go. Okay. Now I got my tangent there. All that's left is these two Axe Fighters, which are going to get killed by Ed, Roy, or Lance any second now. And then we can follow up with our good old boss fight, which is going to be kind of difficult, but I think we can pull through. Okay, there's your crit. Okay. I guess you're making up for it some way. Get a level up. I think that puts Roy to level 9 now. Yes. HP, skill, luck. Okay, I guess that's something. And then you are also going to miss, as expected. And there is your crits. Thank you, Roy. Now you're critting like crazy. Just makes my life easier. Okay, boss time. Let's get this started. Here he is, Henning. My strategy for this. Rutger. Place him here so he's an idiot and throws out his hand axe. This will make him more vulnerable as the steel blade can actually put quite a dent in your team at the moment. The hand axe, however, is not nearly as strong, 
and it also has a lot less accuracy. So just doing this and then having a sword, fi uh, sword fighter come in the next turn is a very valid strategy. Uh, I guess for now I can just put you two here. Unfortunately, he has these two gates next to him, so you can't just surround him with free units and attack him. You have to basically take it one-on-one, -on -one, or one-on-two if you want to use a range unit. But besides that, that's really all there is to it. It's not that co It's He's a tough enemy, don't get me wrong. I'm making it sound way simpler than it is. Like, he's definitely a tough enemy, but like... He looks scary. He looks scary than he really is, is all I'm trying to say. Don't be afraid. He won't, like, freaking one-shot you as long as you don't play dumb. As you can see here. <sighs> What are you guys doing in a place like this? Oh well, but since you're already here, I can't let you guys. I can't let you guys go, can I? Uh, I mean, he's nice at least. And ooh, that's four percent crit. That's not fun looking at. I just don't like seeing critical hits. All right, it's just not comforting at all. Okay, and then Rucker can go in with the killing edge, and this guy has quite the amount of HP, huh? All right then, let's uh go for it. Even if he gets a crit, I believe we're fine. Like he, actually, wait, we're not fine. But if I get one HP point, uh, that's cool. Speed resistance. Jeez, Rucker, your speed is through the freaking roof. Okay, we'll rescue you, and then I'll just uh, pick you up like this. Release you there, and that way Rucker can continue the fight next turn. Because now we basically play the waiting game. Now we basically just send in Rucker and try and get some crits. Because that's the big way you want to handle this fight. Of course you can send in some other units, like other good sword fighters. Like for example, Dick could fight this boss probably just fine. Actually, let me test my fear. Let's see. Uh, the hit rate isn't good, but... Eh, Rucker just does it better. It's fine. Okay. Oh, that one speed point has made us double him. Awesome! There's the crit. Boom! Nice 15. Perfecto, awesome. So with 18 speed, we now double him. Jeez, Rucker, your speed is through the freaking roof. I like it. You rescue, release, there we go, and then end turn. He'll heal up a little bit, but he's not gonna be healing up more damage than we deal to him. Let me see, can we even do damage with him with all the weapons? Uh, we can do three with that, he doesn't kill us. That's uh, not really worth it though. Okay, uh, Rucker, do your thing again. Go! Can we get a crit? No. We do get another dodge, though. Okay, this is going really well. I like it. Okay, then. Uh, you know the strategy. Rescue, drop. Take him off, release. It's just like the last boss, uh, Legans. He's very tough, but with uh, proper execution, it can be done pretty easily, just because of how kind of dumb the uh, the AI is at times. Anyways, that being said, uh, this should hopefully be it with a crit. No, no. I mean, hey, at least we hit him, I guess. <laughs> It's still not worth it, whatever. You know what, just keep doing this. It's been working, may as well just keep going with it. I'd be lying if I weren't, if I said I still wasn't scared of that critical hit, but you know what? I kind of have some confidence built up now. Okay, come on, Rucker. Even get, either get a crit or hit both hits here, because if you do, he's dead. All right, come on, Rucker. I believe in you. Believe in the crits. Okay, there's one. Ow, he actually hit me. Ah, oh, frick. You know what? Frick you. I'm actually sending somebody to try to finish you off instead. Let's see here. Uh, if we hit him, that's dead. But if he hits us, we're freaking gone. It would be nice to give the boss kill to the Lena, though. I'm playing way too big of a gamble. I don't even think it's worth it. Uh, Wolt maybe? No, Sue? I would really love to kill him with Lolina. I think that'd be the most hilarious thing ever. But... 
I don't think it's worth it, because if I miss that, Lilina's dead. Like, there's no way she's gonna be able to dodge that. Like, she'll, there's no way she'll survive more than one turn with this guy. Okay, well, I guess with that being said, uh, this should be a dead boss, I hope. Ow. Holy crap, can we please hit this guy? Well, you know what? There's not really much punishment for it, so you know what? I actually am going to go for the killer bow kill. You never know. It could work. Let's go for it. Oh, I tried. Oh, he dodged too, though. Cool. I guess that means I can just leave Sue here. Well, then. All right. I'll just do this. Uh, then I'll just take you, release you here, and then I'll heal you up with a men's staff. It's actually pretty cool. I'm getting. I'm gonna be able to give the t uh, kill to Sue. Actually, he's gonna heal, so I'm not, he's not gonna be in kill range for much longer. But you know, it could work out. It could work out. Hello again. Can we dodge again? No. Can we hit him though? No. Wow. Okay. Anticlimactic is anticlimactic. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, Rutger, do your thing. See if you can finish him off. You just need... Come on, baby. Come on, please. No. Ow. One HP! One HP! Okay. Come on, Sue. I believe in you. Let me think about how I'm gonna do this. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Come on, Sue! Dang it! Ow. Okay, uh, well that being said, um... Let me see here. There we go, all according to plan. Everything's fine. I was a little worried. I was like, oh wait, did I screw something up? And perfect, because Wolf's got, uh, got, actually got some pretty good constitution for an archer. He can just drop off Sue. Awesome. There we go. We finally brought him down to the point where anything he gets hit by will kill him. Awesome. Yes, yes, fire. I get it. You exist. Shut up, please. Thank you. I'm talking to fire. Jeez. Anyways. Finish him! Rutger, please finish him. Oh my... Will anyone hit anything ever in this game? Oh my god. Please, just game. Just... He's already dead. The boss is over. We've killed him. He's done. End the goddamn chapter already for me, please. This is stupid at this point. And guess what? Because of the fact the game decided to be giving the middle finger, He's gonna get to live another turn. You know why? Because he can actually take a hit now. Game. Stop it. For the beautiful people at home watching this. Thank you. Jeez. That was, that took way too long. I'm sorry. He should have been dead like twice there already. Get a crap ton of XP. That's good. Okay, it's a level up. Level 12. HP, skill, speed. Nice. They were good. Any support conversations? Yep, what I expected. Roy and Lelina. B rank already. Yeah, they built it super quick. Lelina? Lelina? Roy? What's the matter? You're looking off into space again. We're in a battle. You could get killed. I'm sorry. What's wrong? It's just that we've come a long way. Long? Not distance wise. It's just that everything seems to be changing so quickly. Do you remember the time when you came to Ostia the study? Of course. Two years. Wait, was it three years ago? At that time, your father and my father were still well. I see it was so peaceful. No one would imagine a war. It all seems to do over 10 years ago. Wow. That sounds so foolish. There's no way we can go back there anyway. Holy crap. I want you guys to take in something quickly. These two here, they're both... Okay, Roy's 15. I'm going to assume Alina's 15 as well. They are both 15 years old, and they are... Okay, Lelina is here supporting this army, with her father just being killed and to the war, and her country's in ruin. 
And Roy is leading a army. Do you know how much that would change a 15 year old's life forever? Like, after this, they could never be the same person ever again. After going through this. It's crazy, I tell you. It truly really is. Yeah, yeah, shut up, fire. I don't need this crap. We're done this stupid chapter. I'm out. And, oh, God. No, fire. Please stop. Ow. Jeez. Ow. You're killing my frame rate. Okay. Conquer. There we go. Roy, here it is. So this is the Randall. It's a very large sword. I don't think many of us are going to be able to swing it. But history has that Ruin was a small man. I think it's the person's skill in the sword that determines whether or not he can use it. And if I come better with my sword, I can use it as well? Well, maybe. Maybe. Come on. At least say probably. <laughs> And with this, we get the Durandal. Which we'll look over next time. Trust me, it's worth your time here. M Master Roy, Bird's Dragonites have appeared at Castle Ustia. What? They're here already? Uh, off we go. Yes, it's my theme and it's my man, Narshan. <laughs> Are you Roy? I must thank you for getting rid of that idiot Legans for me. Now, you will leave Ustia to me. Don't be ridiculous. Who would give Ostia to the likes of you? Oh? Then you wish to fight us with that sad little group of yours? I shall annihilate you, as I did with Hector. Uh, damn. That's enough. General Narshan, a legion from Eternia. I can see that, you fool. Why? I am Percival, General Knight of, uh, Knight General of Eternia. Yesterday, Sorcerer General Cecilia informed me that Ostia had requested Eternia's protection. What? You seem discontent. We are prepared for battle. But can the Dragonites of yours stand a chance against all of us? You... Uh, I am Celcilia, Sorcery General of Eternia. Ostia is now under our protection. Ah, uh, you... You... General Narshan, please control your temper. General Preston is one of the strongest warriors in Eternia. And with General Cecilia here as well, we'd be slaughtered. I know, we're leaving. Celcilia, is it? Watch your back from now on. Well, uh, we got to avoid a pretty major fight there. Uh, thanks. Are you General Roy, the Lycian's Alliance Army? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try the Lycian's Army in the place of Lord Hector. I see. Lycia is in a time of hardship. Our king also sent his words of regret for Lord Hector's death. Thank you for your consideration. If Eternia hadn't helped us, Lycia would have been under, uh, would be under Burns' control now. Thank you very much. I am not the one to thank. I simply followed my king's orders. You should thank Lycia, who went against the king to help you. She disobeyed the king's orders. Yes, so isn't that something? Well, I must be off. Two of the free attorney generals shouldn't be leaving the country for so long. Celcilia, so, can you take care of the rest? Yes, thank you, Percival. You can leave the rest to me. <sighs> General Percival. Now he's someone. Nervous, were you? Shout Celcilia, it's so good to see you again. How are you doing, Roy? Look a little tired. But you seem okay. Yes, thanks to your training, we were able to avoid disaster. I'm glad we made it here in time. I'm sorry. We put you through a lot of trouble. No. It's going to be beneficial for Eternia for Ostia to go into our protection. Beneficial? Yes. Birds act up aggressively these days, as you know. We also want to do something about it, but since we hadn't directly invaded, we haven't been directly invaded, we had no reason to go to war with them. But if Burn gets any stronger, the balance of powers would be shattered. So when Ostia requests protection, you saw it's a good reason to declare war and burn? Right. We just did what would be best for us. You don't need to feel that you're in our debt. Okay. So you shouldn't thank us. Understood. I won't. Well, anyway, please come in and meet the rest of our army. He's gotten so bold in a short time I haven't seen him. Well, he's a boy after all. Hey, what does that mean? You call me stupid? <laughs> Anyways, though, that's gonna do it for Chapter X. Uh, cha chapter X. Chapter 8X, The Blazing Sword. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and next time, we are, um, I, I guess, gonna meet with Eternia? I don't know, uh, we kind of left us in a blank of what's gonna happen next chapter, so I guess we'll be left in mystery, huh? Alright, see you guys then. Bye-bye.